The vast majority of players in GT7 probably already know about this particular exploit, but this video is for those who might have missed it. And even myself, I started doing this more recently because I just didn't bother when I first heard about it. Now, this particular exploit allows you, using the three, or in particular two out of the three new bonus menu books in the cafe, to get essentially unlimited engine swaps and unlimited... Uh, I believe four star spins, which doesn't tend to be that much of a payout, but still a spin is a spin. So the way to do this is super simple. I would recommend if you've already had Gran Turismo open and if you've already claimed these two new books, which of course you do need to collect the respective vehicles for, the one on the left is for Honda, the one on the right is for Mazda in particular the rotaries. The middle one, although I'm reclaiming it sometimes in the video, you don't need to do that one. It's the first and third, from what I can tell at least, that gets you this. So, when you run through those books the first time, you'll of course get your six-star and four-star roulette spins. As normal, you know, nothing special there. Then though, if you open your PlayStation menu and close Gran Turismo as an application, so it completely shuts down the game and you go back to the PlayStation menu, then go back into the game, boot it up again, go back into that same bonus menu book, and then run through the post-victory blurb, if you will, where they talk about the cars, as you can see me doing here, skip all the way through, and then go back into your garage, you've now got those two roulette spins again, but it's not the same ones, they are two fresh spins. And you can literally just keep doing this over and over again, and you'll probably see me using some of the effects of this in the video. You can, like, put a Mazda 787B engine into an RX-7. You can put a, a Drift BRZ engine into the Nissan Silvia, which happens to be my new favourite fast car in the game at this point, because it's so ridiculously quick. You can literally run like 300 miles an hour around Route X. But of course, the four-star spins give you stuff as well. Invitations to buy Bugatti, Citroen, Ferrari, if you are so inclined and if you haven't got those yet. A bit of cash here and there, some parts here and there. I want a carbon drive shaft, for example, for a Maserati Gran Turismo, which is a nice addition. So it's basically just freebies galore. Really, really high-level ones as well. The game really loves giving me the Lexus SC430 engine over and over again, so I'm going to drop one into the toy to Tundra, probably drop one into the Crown, and it's just an exploit which you already know they're going to patch, but you may as well make use of it while you can, because I don't think they'll take away the benefits of this, and feasibly, you could do this up to a thousand times, because you can store a thousand of those part upgrades in your garage at any given time. So a ridiculous amount of cash or at least a ridiculous amount of value, that is. And speaking to value, there is a possible advantage of this in future from a monetary perspective. This one remains to be seen, though, but if you were to, for example, put that Mazda 787B engine, which I believe is worth a million credits, if I recall, into that Mazda RX-7, that may, and we can't say this for sure, but that may increase the value of that car once the ability to sell cars is brought in a newer update. That is something which has been confirmed by Kaz, if I recall correctly, to be coming to the game. It hasn't come yet, of course, at the time of releasing this video, but it's possible that the car might be worth more. So, for example, if you were to build multiple RX-7s, multiple of whatever car, but something like an RX-7 may have an advantage with its higher initial value, you may well have that as like a long-term investment. Plus, of course, it helps your collector's uh, status as well within the game. Obviously, you'll have to buy multiple cars, but the fact remains it could potentially be a good investment. And if nothing else, you could have a bunch of different cars for a bunch of different things. You could have a drag car with one engine, a drift version with another engine, a rally version. So yeah, for those who didn't see it, this is the exploit. Super simple, super easy to do. And of course, stick around on the channel for more. And for those who are curious, Yes, I am going to be doing multiple tune setups and some really crazy builds for some of these vehicles. You can put the Civic Type R engine into the Mini, Porsche engine into the Beetle, etc, etc. Personally, I wish we could do like a Porsche Taycan swap into something, but there you go. <laughs> That's it for the moment, though. Give this exploit a go. You know they're going to patch this probably pretty soon in a smaller update, maybe even like next week or something. So give it a try. Stick around on the channel for more. And until next time, I'll see you then. But for now, as always, 
Thanks for watching.